Hey guys, my name is Akash and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the five real world projects that you can start and you can use what you are learning or you or you can just uh, uh, create something really cool. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about the five projects. I will also highlight potential learning opportunities and a brief overview how you can implement these projects on your own. Uh, first one is called Crypto Dashboard. And according to a recent report by Business Insider, the crypto market is worth an estimated $267 billion and is rapidly growing. And with ever-changing markets and a huge demand for crypto, there is a huge need for tracking various crypto prices like Bitcoin, etc. Uh, so why not build your own crypto dashboard that allows you to view the prices of various currencies over a time period? Crypto trading dashboard are a common use case for React with many trading platforms using the React uh, framework as a UI of their choice. So, while doing this course, uh, what are the potential learning opportunities? Uh, you will learn about the crypto markets and the industrial knowledge. You will learn about how you can connect various APIs. And you will learn about building components, trade management, charting and data visualization libraries, and data visualization. And for the implementation part, you will need two things. First, the data source and second thing is the user interface, the UI. So for the data source, you will need to take a look at one of the following REST APIs to get on crypto prices. First is CoinMarketCap API. The second one is CoinGecko API. And that's all you are gonna need for the data source. And for the UI part, the user interface part, uh, to implement this, uh, you can take a look on this, some data visualization libraries like chart.js, dy.graphs, plot or d3.js. You can use these to display the data that you fetch from APIs for the crypto prices. And if you want to, uh, if you want to take it a step further and turn it into a fully flash dashboard, take a look at ANT Designs. Free, it's a free UI component library and you will find an awesome collections of component that when combined with the charting libraries that uh, that like the ones i have mentioned like jy.graph um, that uh, that can enable that will enable you to create very powerful and interesting dashboard views and i would also recommend uh, taking a look at something like react redux or mobx for helping out with state management and if you want to use graphql then you can look at apollo to help you out there okay so this this is the this is all for the first project and for the second project um, the second project is a social media feed tool so uh, research posted by statistica research department has reported that uh, the average person had around 8.5 social media accounts like eight or nine social media accounts uh, uh, every person has and that is before the recent emergence of tiktok so how is that useful uh, for creating a react app it's users or yourself view and manage multiple fields in one place and it could look uh, something like uh, this and what are the various learning opportunities that you will get while doing this project you will learn how to handle social media apis you will learn how to handle the social media data collection and how stored social media streaming works you will learn about the web sockets and also you will learn how APIs interact with each other and uh, you can also learn about the Google Firebase for the backend part and how to implement this project and how you can build this project you will need uh, uh, again you will need a data data source and uh, data for this will require social media accounts and utilize their APIs for that, uh, Twitter has a great API that I'm sure you will find yourself for gathering social data. Other APIs for social feeds are like Facebook developers offer an awesome uh, API and libraries. And second, you can use Instagram API and TikTok API for devs. And uh, for the third project, uh, it's called Movie Search App using Elasticsearch and Reactive Search. According to US UX Booth, Search is a fundamental activity and a critical element for building a content-heavy app or site. Uh, let's think about how difficult it would be if you went on your favorite 
content heavy website and the only option to find what you are looking for is by the next page you can't search anything so that will be uh, that will be very frustrating for any user that will uh, use your website or use your project so for that we have to uh, add the search functionality as a solution fortunately there are an abundance of tools that have been created to help you with this uh, out of which uh, one is elastic search uh, so what is elastic search elastic search is a super fast and open source full text search engine it allows you to store and search and analyze large volume of data quickly like uh, we are talking milliseconds it is generally used as underlying engine technology that pro- that powers application that have a complex search features and requirement and with react uh, we can use re- uh, reactive search to build a layer over the top of it to create a really fast search engine so why not create a movie search app that lets you search by topic titles or co-actors or actors that you can learn how to do it uh, what are the potential learning opportunities uh, while doing this project you will learn about elastic search how to implement this and you will learn about data gathering and you will learn about search component and you will learn how to display content as a result of a search for this project you will need a data source so you can use something like uh, the movie db to get a collections of movies that you can use into your project and that you can store in the elastic search so uh, for the ui part uh, use something like react material ui to build out a simple interface that can uh, that a user can interact with as a starting point i would recommend that each search result that is displayed contain a movie name rating description and a link to a trailer the fourth project is e-commerce store using redux stripe and a product api Uberlo's latest report stated that it is estimated that there will be a 2.5 billion global digital buyers in the 2022 and 3.68 trillion online in 2021. So it is definitely worth adding an e-commerce website onto your portfolio or onto your resume. E-commerce based apps are one of the most common use cases for React. Shopify, uh, one of the largest e-commerce platform is built using React as its front end. And one project you could work on is building an e-commerce store using Redux, Stripe and a mock product API to get your product data. For the UI, you could use the Bootstrap UI kit that you can find in the resources list uh, in the description below. and for this project build a store with react products and stripe so what are the potential learning opportunities while doing this project you will learn about uh, the react products you will learn the understanding of basic user journey you will learn about bootstrap ui for react you will learn about how mock apis work and you will learn about the stripe and payment processing uh, for this project you uh, the data source you need I would recommend a use uh, I would recommend using a mock restful API to provide you with the products and create some uh, products that use the following structures like a uh, json file and for the ui part uh, for this uh, I uh, like I mentioned uh, earlier I would recommend using react bootstrap to give you a fully usable component libraries and that will save you save Uh, a lot of your time and react bootstrap also has one uh, a tone of really useful cards and is perfect for creating a ui for an e-commerce based app uh, you will also need to learn about this stripe so uh, what is this, what is stripe stripe is a powerful and awesome tool that gives us developers so much power when it comes to monetizing our project stripe is an online payment system that handles billions of dollar every year This makes it a perfect fit for an e-commerce app and it will integrate perfectly into your system. Once you have a basic UI, you could use you could create a basket in your app and then you use Strip to charge cards. Strip provides a uh, set of libraries and APIs to allow you to do this, such as pre-built checkout library. So so guys, if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to this channel and If you want to learn about React and front-end web development in general, uh, you can also turn on the bell 
notification and you will get every update of this channel. I will be adding many projects in the future.